Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave uh, with Build Alpha. Um, so I want to make a quick video on how you can import um, your own data into Build Alpha, as I know a lot of people like that uh, flexibility. Um, just a reminder, Build Alpha comes with daily data for over about 90 markets, um, futures, ETFs, Forex, um, and even Bitcoin. Um, but again, if you wanted to import your own, let's say it's intraday um, or weekly or monthly data or even custom bar types like uh, range, case, uh, Ranko bars, um, you would essentially open up your data in Excel um, and we need to format it um, so that it is the correct style for Build Alpha to read. Um, so what that means is we just need a date, time, open, high, low, close, and volume column. Um, but we are going to format time by uh, right-clicking format cells and we're just going to make it an integer format so that's hour hour uh, minute minute okay and we are going to go ahead and format date so that it is year 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 month month day day okay and then we're just going to remove the header row so this is how it should look again this is a simple seven columns um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. Now, a quick tip about Build Alpha. Um, if you do it as the symbol name in raw, you can overwrite the built-in Build Alpha data. Um, or you can name it whatever you'd like and do it as custom data. Um, now, either way is fine. It's completely up to you. Um, and there's private videos that kind of go a little more in depth than this. But I'm just going to save it as ES raw so I can show you both ways. So now what I can do is I can hop over into uh, Build Alpha. And if I were to open up my file path, go ahead in my documents, find this ES raw I found. I'm just going to copy it. Um, and then I am going to right click. And I'm going to open the file location of Build Alpha, go into this data folder, and I am going to paste. Uh, control V the file over the ES raw data so what this allows me to do now is I can use this ES built-in symbol on my custom data or the option two is if I don't want to overwrite the built-in data I can go to service settings and I have this user symbols I can open this up scroll down click on my ES raw data and then I just set this contract multiple here to 50 because ES moves uh, $50 per point. Now again, this contract multiple is only for futures data. So if you're importing ETFs, Forex, stocks, um, or cryptocurrencies, you could just go ahead and leave that multiple at one. Um, and then I just hit OK. And I would come down here, click on user data one, and that is how I would use custom data. Okay, guys, I hope that's helpful and uh, beneficial to your trading process.